Hey guys, I haven't been doing too many videos, um, because honestly I'm friggin' disgusted with the whole crypto space and the cowards that are in it, the way they're just bailing ship on everything and, and running for the hills. I mean, they're ruining all their investments and especially ruining all my investments <laughs> and I'm sure yours too. Um... This right here is what's really screwing things up. This right here, the Bitcoin. Bitcoin is full of a bunch of bitches, seriously. I mean, they just hear a little bad news and they want to sell, 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 you fucking pussies. Go play Yahtzee or fucking Scrabble or something. Go knit a fucking quilt. Yes, I'm angry. As you could tell. Anyway, let's get back to the point of the video. point of the video is this. These lending platforms are just totally dicking us and, and kidnapping our money, and it's really shitty. So here's an example. Falcon Coin. They want to give you an incentive, okay? The incentive is we're going to let you lend at 10 bucks a coin. Now, I don't know if it's just people who participate in the ICO or if it's anybody, but I know I participate in the ICO. So for me, if I want to lend, let's see, we'll go here, we'll go to lend and watch. I can lend at 10 bucks a coin, fixed, fixed rate, okay? I have nothing to lend because I lend it all, as you can see right here. I had 1,475 coins, I lent them. Lent them over 24 hours ago, so I'm expecting an interest payment any moment. But, um, I didn't get it yet. So, now, the problem is, you lend it at 10 bucks. Okay, it's, I'm going to get uh, a little over 1%, so I'm going to get 100 bucks, well, $140 in interest today. That's what it, that's, assuming this is correct. You should get about $140 in interest, okay? Now, if I want to cash that $140 out, say I want to cash out every single day I'm gonna to have to buy Falcon coin obviously and then from Falcon coin I'm gonna to have to sell it on the exchange and buy Bitcoin I mean sell it for Bitcoin right so let's look at the exchange okay all right the exchange last ask last bid last ask point zero 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 seven sixty cents okay so I'm getting $10 to loan, okay? Now, I can go to the external exchange, buy them at $0.61, cents, bring them in here and loan them at 10 bucks. But when I go to cash that out, okay, I'm assuming that you're going to buy, you have to buy Falcon Coin to cash it out. And when you buy Falcon Coin, now, I might be wrong. If I'm wrong, please tell me because then this, this is a wonderful thing. But as far as I know, from someone I spoke to who has been in it for a while loaning with lots of money, and I think he tried it, if you go to cash it out and I want to convert my USD that I get right here, let's go to my dashboard. So I should get USD for my interest payment. If I want to cash that out, I have to buy Fountain Coin. I believe if I'm buying Falcon Coin from in here, they're going to charge me ten dollars a Falcon Coin because they're loaning it at ten. Now, if I'm wrong, please tell me. I really want to know. And I'm getting. I made this video because I'm tired of waiting for this interest payment to come, which it should be here any minute. But I'm hoping in the meantime someone could tell me so I could just take my ass to bed and not have to worry about it. But I'm assuming from what I was told that once I get my USD, which will be one hundred forty dollars, okay and I want to cash it out, I'm going to have to buy, it's only going to give me 10, Fal well, $140 will give me 14 Falcon coin at 10 bucks a piece, okay? Now, what it should do is it should let me buy Falcon coin at 61 cents. So I should be able to buy 200, 250, 300 Falcon coin and then sell them for 61 cents and get my 140 bucks out. But what I think this is doing, which is shitty, 
and this is what other platforms are doing too. I think it's going to charge me $10 per Falcon coin to buy it internally here. All right. And then to convert it. So I'm going to try to convert that and it's going to give me, whew, it's going to give me like one tenth of that. So I might get what a dollar forty, two dollars out. I'm not sure how that works. If anyone else has been in this program and has cashed out, let me know. Let me know if you take any money out from your USD and convert it to Falcon Coin, then to BTC. Because I would love to know what the process is from inside the program. You know, is it a ploy to get you to buy it at 61 cents, bring it in here, loan it at 10, but then when you try to cash it out, they're only going to give you 61 cents? I mean, they're going to make you pay $10 a coin to cash out, and then it's, you're only going to get a tenth. I don't know how that works. You know, not even a tenth. I'm, maybe like an eighteenth of your money. So if anyone knows, let me know. All right, let's go on to this. So this video is all about bitching and complaining, obviously. This big letdown here. And I love DeVore. DeVore treated me well, as you can see. Now, don't be fooled because... 8,000 of that is right here. See? This was $8,000 when I was out in L.A. last week. And so what I did is I kept buying DAV when it was at 70. I bought it when I got my payment, 1000 bucks. I was making about $1,000 a day. Now I'm making about 200 288 300 bucks a day, which is still good money. But for loaning 58000 that's shitty money, Okay. I should have just cashed out. It would have been a lot better. So, right now my money's held hostage by DAV. What I did is I bought so many damn coins, I bought about $10,000 worth of, of DAV here. Okay? In the meantime, it just <clears throat> fizzled out, as you can see. So now they're only worth $3.38. Now, the smart play, the, sm the common sense play, as far as the history of crypto would be, okay? because DAV is so early in its, in its uh, program, is to buy them up right here, okay? But that's what I thought right here. Right here, I thought, ooh, 50, 60 bucks, buy them up. So I bought them up, look, boom, dropped. It's like, shit. Then I got paid. Next day, so I bought them up right about, probably about here. Buy them up quick. It'll go back up. And then, whew, boom, down here, I was like, oh, shit, I just lost half my friggin' income already. All right, well, buy them here because it can't go below that. Whew. Oh, my God, I'm going to throw up in my mouth every time I look at it. So now I'm down, cut down into a third. So I was like, all right, I just got another $1,000 payment. Buy them here. Let's buy them here. You know, now I have a stockpile of them. It's bound to go up. Then, pew, all the way down to here, 13 bucks. I'm like... Now what the hell do I do? They're 13 bucks. Well, it can't go below 13, so I'm going to buy them. So I bought them here. <laughs> so then it went all the way down here. So then I chased it down around 8 bucks. I bought a bunch more. I thought, well, I'll buy 100 of them at 8 bucks. Um, I'll make a shitload of money. Can't go below 8 bucks. Well, look. We're down here now. <sighs> fucking frustrating now you would say it can't go below three dollars and 36 cents but you know what i don't even know how to read it anymore i thought i knew this crypto but i don't have a clue how to play this now yesterday i got paid at three like three what was it 340 got like 400 dollars at three four and i sold them at about three I think I sold them at to the program to the platform at about four dollars four fifty and then it went up to about six bucks out of nowhere so I quick cashed it out to BTC 39 coin shot them out to my external wallet and I made an extra 40 bucks and I was happy as hell for that but that was only 288 or 300 bucks for the day okay so now um, I don't know what to do. So do I get my payment tonight, which will probably be about three, four hundred bucks, 
Wait, 1% of 58. 58,000, 1%. Um, it ain't even 1%, I'm sorry. It's going to be 0.1%. So, plus my 0.3%. Per, so, I'm going to get like 0.4%. So, I'm going to get a half a percent. So, I should have got about $220, $230, somewhere around there maybe today as a payment, as my daily interest. So, do I sell that and get like 80-some coin again and then dump them? put them out to the wallet or the common sense play in crypto would be stockpile these damn coins because eventually all this FUD and bad information going out all over the damn news because if you think about it and you go back it has been trashing cryptocurrency since December 20th nothing but bad news after bad news after bad news after rumor after rumor Half of it ain't even true. Half of it's recycled news. The whole uh, Korea, the China, the, the subpoenas, all this stupid shit. Oh, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. Half of it's misinterpreted. And I don't know why they're putting the news out. Maybe it's Wall Street doing it because Wall Street is trying to drive the hell out of this and crash it because they're making money on the loss of Bitcoin with futures because they're betting against it and what they're going to do they're going to drive it down till they see there's a, such a huge resistance that it's not going any further and then you know what they're going to do yes you're right they are going to start putting out positive information non-stop and they're going to bet for it and they're going to bet the futures that this is going to go up and up so they're going to make a fortune on that then when it gets up here all the big money is going to do it again so in the meantime, while Wall Street and these huge, like, real money players that are now in the futures, okay, not a crypto money. Yeah, there's a lot of crypto millionaires, but the, these are Wall Street billionaires that are playing games now, okay? It's a huge, different, huge, huge, totally different league. I mean, we're, we're little league, minor league, A ball. Versus the major leagues, you know what I mean? World Series type money. Um, so anyway, once they see that they have defeated this as far as it can go, and it starts going up, and they can't stop it, that's when I believe these platforms can start to thrive again. Because as long as this is down, if you think about it, DAV was selling, their coin was high, but Bitcoin was also twice as much. Okay, so if you think about all these lending platforms that sold a month or two ago in the ICO and got sold all their tokens for Bitcoin at 12,000, between 12,000 and 16, 17,000, they now have lost, instantly lost half of their value. Okay, now I know that doesn't reflect into coin because this coin has lost way more than that, but according to my research and stuff that people have been putting out, DAV had a glitch where people were practically just taking as much money as they want at will plus coin when they had that early release. They would throw it in there. There must have been some glitch that when you tried to click the early release, which I never even saw an early release button, so I don't know where that was because I checked it out, but I was out of town. But when they did that, Apparently, you were able to get your capital release back plus all the coin at the same time. So people were just taking money after money. They must have just drained this platform. I, I don't know how they did it um, or for how long it went on. I never witnessed any of it. So, you know, I mean, if I go here to the lending, um, I don't see anywhere where it says I could take capital release. I don't see any of that so I don't know they must have stopped that right away um, but the only way DAV is gonna get it back and they are I mean they they are they're slowly bringing their rates back up okay now they're doing it every other day they're getting halfway to 1% okay um, the only way they're gonna restore confidence they're gonna have to bite the bullet take a loss and start paying out and get to a 1% above in order for the confidence to get back in this program 
and people start um, investing in it. There's a lot of other programs paying a lot more, as you can see. Let's see what else we have here. We have LibraCoin, which for some reason this stupid thing will not load. Oh, there we go. All right, LibraCoin is paying. Let's see if I can get it to load. I believe they're paying above 2% a day. But, I mean, that's normal when you're starting off and you're trying to attract business and, you know, undercut your competition. You're going to pay out higher interest rates to get to drive the money towards you, which is understandable. I mean, DeVore did it too. They were up above 2%. Um, Len Connect tried it with the 5% interest rates. But, anyway, this is not going to load. It's been nothing but headaches since the exchange opened. That was going to be another part of this video. I wanted to show you the exchange. Um, the exchange opened, and they showed a lot of sales. But they show no buy orders, but they showed sell orders, and they showed complete sales. So I don't know. If there's no buy orders, who's buying? I don't understand. Unless someone, it's like between, you know, person, person to person or how they're doing it. I can't even explain what I'm talking about because this damn thing won't load. Anyhow, um, let's get that out of here. Um, da -dum -dum -dum. This is a long video. I'm sorry. I'm just rambling. I haven't made a video in a little while, so I figure I'll just take some time, talk some shit. All right, what else we got on the agenda here? So anyway, I hope Devor gets off their ass, and I hope confidence gets restored, and I hope they recoup what they lost, or they at least start treating the early lenders, the people who got in first to support the program, like me and other people, I hope they start treating us a little better. Um, I don't know what to do. I think I'm going to just let this ride right here, these coins, because that's a lot of coins in DAV, especially if it goes back to, to $100 a coin or 70 or even 50 That'll give me about $11,000. Uh, so... I, to sell at $3, not happening. I'm just going to let that ride, see what happens. I mean, I'd rather lose. I'd rather it go to zero and me lose than me sell at that price, honestly. So I'm just hoping this platform lasts long enough that I can get my capital release, which will be in April. Let's see, capital release. Yep, April 7th and April 21st, I get these released to me. That would be a beautiful thing if they're around that long, and I see that. And I will definitely be making a video if that happens. Okay, so what else can we look at while I got your your attention here? Um, let's look at Chrysos. Let's, let's check that out. So Chrysos. Chrysos. Okay, Chrysos coin. I can remember how to sign into this thing. I got passwords at the wazoo over here. Alright, let's see. I got cash in this one. So let me go. That's not even right. Alright, now we're signed into Crisos. So let's check this out. Now, how to play Creasos. That's a tricky one, and I have no idea. It's almost like, how do, how do I play Libra? How do I play um, Falcon? I mean, Falcon, you saw, you lend it 10 bucks. It's only 60 cents on the exchange. When you try to spend your USD, I think you have to buy them at 10, and then when you cash them out, you're getting 60 cents. So you're losing tons and tons of money. Now, how's this going to work? They're letting you loan at 14, okay? So I have 1,100 of them. That would give me lending, lending, lending. Uh, start lending. How do we do that? Start lending. Let's see what this does. Okay, so USD, that would give me, fourteen thousand, 
15,040, something like that. 15,400. I don't know. I don't feel like figuring it out. It should be simple, but my brain ain't working that quick. Anyway, over fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000. Okay. So say I lend that, and I'm getting these interest payments. And then it opens on the exchange, and it goes down to like 2 bucks. So now, when I cash out, do I buy the coin at, at fourteen because that's what they locked it in to lend? Do they sell it back to me at fourteen, and then when I cash it out, I only get two? And I start losing big money that way. Um, you know, you never know what these lending platforms are going to do. Basically, you're at their mercy. They do anything they want to do. So I really don't know how wise it is to lend at 14. So what I did is I opened up a second Cresos account above this one. And I, I signed up under myself just so I can experiment. And this is my main account, the one above it. I earned 165 coin for the referral of myself. As you can see, people say, you're taking all these links for referral, but I don't believe I get any referrals. Do I have any in here? No. I have no referrals, so see? I am my own referral. So in my other Cresus account, I did do the lend at 165 coin. I did like a $2,300 loan. Okay. So I want to see how that plays out. Before I touch these 1,100 coin in Cresos, I'm going to mess with my other account with a little bit of money in there and see how that works. Because I would hate for this to hit 100 bucks coin. I could have cashed out 1,100. Like Devor. Like Devor, I got it. I got out of Devor at $18 and put a $10,000 loan in at $18. And then also a $48,000 loan at $88. After I did that, it went to $175. Bucks. If I would have waited, I could have cashed out $190,000. And that would have been a friggin' awesome year's pay for $700 investment. And you can see that in my other videos on my channel. Anyway, I think I've held you up long enough. The purpose of this um, video... I don't know if it was educational or if it was just to just complain. I don't know what my purpose was, honestly, now. It's gone so long. But I just wanted to show you what's going on with these programs. I'm sure you all understand the frustrations, and you are probably going through the same thing. If you know anything or anything's going to happen or transpire in these programs that I'm missing, let me know in the comments. I would love to know. Um, you know, my, my channel is all about getting on there and bitching speak in your mind i don't mind get on there and talk to each other i don't give a shit don't bother me um i'm not claiming to be an expert like these other people <laughs> this guy wrote me oh uh, i'm not even gonna look no i'll look i shouldn't even mess with the dude but i'm gonna look anyway hold on what the hell was his name uh i think i I added him somewhere, or <sighs> I forget. Anyway, he claims to be an ICO expert, which is pretty amusing. Um, there's no ICO ex experts. I mean, don't matter how much you study these, they're so unpredictable, you can't tell what's going to happen. I mean, you can claim you know, you can get a huge following, you could talk a lot of shit, but in the end, most of us look like fools. I mean, if, if something hits and, and we make money, I mean, we just got lucky. I mean, that's the bottom line. Everyone knows that by now. You've been in it long enough. Um, there's no sure things in this damn crypto. The only thing sure that we could be sure about is right here. Is when this here pops off. Bam. When this thing starts to go nuts and shoot way, way up again. And that's when you could be sure that we're all going to make money because then every other program, every other platform thrives. But right now it's been a literal sea of red and sea of negativity out there. So until these idiots stop spreading FUD, which I hate the word FUD. It's so stupid. I'm ready to call it Elmer. When they stop spreading Elmer FUD, but anyway, when they start spreading negativity and assuming without knowing, without any kind of facts, and they just put out videos just to get views and to spark 
uh, spark rumors and gossip, and I'm guilty of it too. I mean, I like to go in here and talk a little shit and then watch the fireworks happen after people watch my video and talk. But as soon as we all grow up and realize that these are investments in some of our livelihoods and this is how we feed our families, you know, maybe, maybe things will turn around, you know, because YouTubers are popping up all over the place right now. I mean, there's so many people out there who swear they're experts or they have their opinion. Okay, opinion ain't worth shit, honestly. These experts, <laughs> um, I don't even have to name them. You know who the hell they are. <clears throat> but uh, anyway...
I'll take you There's a way I'll make you see There's an old man who's sitting He's looking back just grinning on me Thank you.